everybody, welcome to Stunt Trainer, where we show you everything you need to know about cheerleading. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to become a cheerleader in one week. I'll be discussing five easy steps you can follow to make your dream of becoming a cheerleader a reality. Step one, choosing all-star or school cheerleading, or both. Making the decision between all-star and school cheerleading can be difficult, especially without knowing the facts. The difference between all-star and school cheerleading is huge. Decide if you want to cheer on your school team from the sidelines, or if you'd rather compete in elite routine at different competitions. Once you've made your decision, look up tryout information and start preparing now. If you want more information about the differences, make sure you check out Stunt Trainer's all-star versus school cheer video linked below. Also, most cheerleading programs do offer stunting and tumbling classes to help you learn new skills without the commitment of being on a team. So make sure you reach out to your local gyms. Step two, determining your personal commitment level. In cheerleading, every athlete must have the highest level of commitment for the team to be successful. This means showing up on time, knowing your individual role on the team, and always having a positive attitude. Remember, all-star cheerleading will be a higher commitment level than school cheerleading, both financially and time-wise. Step three, developing the required skills. If you have decided that you are committed to becoming a cheerleader, now is the time to start developing the required skills for your team. Each all-star and school cheerleading team has specific skill requirements. Skills required for cheerleading include tumbling, stunting, jumps, dance, and motions. Depending on your team, the skills can range in difficulty from beginner to advance, so make sure you're always practicing proper progression with new skills. As I said before, don't forget to check out your local cheerleading gym so that you can learn new skills for your team. Also, make sure you check out Stunt Trainer's other videos for more highlights and tutorials. Step four, stretch daily. Stretching has tons of physical and mental benefits, whether you're an athlete or not. But if you want to become a cheerleader, stretching daily is a requirement. Proper tumbling, jumps, and body positions all require some degree of flexibility. So make sure you start stretching now. And finally, step five, have fun. Whether you're cheering on your school team or you're competing across the country, this sport is all about enjoying. If you love to perform with a team, then cheerleading is the perfect sport for you. And there you have it. Five easy steps that you can take this week to help you become a cheerleader. I hope this video is giving you some inspiration. Please leave us a comment below and let us know what teams you're trying out for this year. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your teammates, and subscribe to Stunt Trainer for more cheerleading content. Until next time. Mm -hmm.